New to PowerPoint 2016 is the closed caption feature. It allows you to add display text into your videos. So for those who are hearing impaired, they can read as they go along watching your video, or maybe for those who want to learn a different language like English, since my training videos are in English, I could have the English text down below as they hear my voice and read the text as they're watching the video. And so to be able to insert this text for closed captioning to display my video, well, I got my video. As you recall in the previous training video, we did a screen recording. So with this selected, come up here and click on its related contextual playback tab. And there you go, insert captions. And you can see when I hover over it, it says you got to insert a web VTT file. Well, it doesn't say that, but that's what it is. A video text track file. Now, if you don't know what that is, you can search it on the internet. Basically, you can create it yourself if you'd like, although it's very time consuming. And so what some people do is they upload their videos to a company where it's like a dollar a minute for some of them. And they go ahead and they type up all the text that's in your video. And then they give you the text, in which case you still need it in a VTT format. Let me show you what that looks like in case if you want to do it yourself or if you want to outsource. Let me minimize this down to the taskbar and it's right there, .vtt. Now, if you can't see it on your computer, if you do have it on your computer, the extension, well, it's because Windows, by default, doesn't like to show extensions because if you mess with those, in this case, the VTT, you can change it so the operating system doesn't know what program to open up this file in. In any case, you can watch my Windows training video on extensions if you want to be able to see them or hide them, or if you come across a problem where you're trying to open up a file and it doesn't open up in the right program, you can watch that. Again, it's my Windows extensions training video. So there it is. If you want to see what it looks like, it's very simplistic. Let me go ahead and open up Notepad. Come down here, click on the Start button, and go to Notepad. And, well, it's off the screen, but that's okay. I can just go ahead and click and drag that into Notepad. And let me put that up at the top, and there you go. So if you want to create this yourself, up at the top, I start with WebVTT, kind, and it's captions, language, E-N for English. And if there's something else, an acronym for like Spanish, well, go ahead and type it in if you know it. And then down below, you got the timer from 0 to 12 seconds. We're going to have this text. And then from, well, just after 12, 13.050 to 20 seconds, essentially. And then I got the text that will be displayed. So, again, you can just go ahead and take this file if you purchase my training video and that comes with the exercises and go ahead and make it your own here in Notepad. And then when you're done, be sure to save it. Or, like I said, you can upload it. You can find a company, upload it to them, and let them go ahead and get the text and put it at the right times throughout the video. But essentially, that's what you're looking at. It's a lot of work, and so I don't do it with my videos. But maybe there's newer technology out that makes it easier. But that's what we're looking at here. And that's what PowerPoint's looking at. Let me close out of it. it is a .vtt file. It would be great for a company to be able to take our video, upload it, capture all the text, be able to put it with the right timings in it in a VTT file. And all I have to do is come down here, restore PowerPoint, select my video here, and then come up here on the related contextual playback tab, click on the insert captions drop down arrow and insert, find my, there you go, web VTT video text tracks. And it's right there, double click. And that's it. Just come down here on the video playback bar, click on this little newly added icon to show hide audio and subtitles click on it and if off is checked well insert captions is on but if off is checked and click on it you can see it's checked then click on insert captions so when I go to the slideshow and I play it click on it and let's go ahead and come down here and click on play it gives you a little pop-up now it's recording ah and there you so go. I go ahead during the recording, I, say I know. It, what I'm saying here doesn't off. match the text down below. Until I come up to the top in any case, screen. that would take a long Can't time to type all this in because I do a lot of chattering here. Or it's okay and then it moves on to the next one from that point down, forward. Enough time to and then when that's done, that it disappears. Let me hit the escape key a couple of times. And there you go. And if you're like, oh, I don't want that playing, you can turn it off, of course and it won't show up during the presentation. Also in the preview, it won't show it here. You can display it here as well if you want to see it. And play it, and then it pops up. Of course, this guy's in the way here. I say collapse it, and then I click off. Well, you can see it disappears until I come up to the top of my screen and tap it. Then I can go ahead and stop it. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Pause it, 
And then to remove it, well, just come up here, click on the Playback tab. If you don't have the Playback tab, make sure you got your video selected. And then click on the drop down arrow to remove all captions and that little block there disappears so you can no longer choose to have them inserted. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.